Hi, welcome to Keskel's Air. This is Jez Harkin again, talking to Jeff Santerman from the Keskel Center. And last time we talked to someone at the Keskel Center, we were talking about the stewardship, but there's something more important coming up now that uh, Jeff will like to talk to you about. Uh, it's about funding from the gov from the governor. So Jeff, um, take it off from there. What are we looking at here? Absolutely. Well, this time of the year is budget season in New York State. And uh, so every year starting uh, right at the basically the beginning of the new year, the governor prepares a budget, um, which then is released. Then the assembly prepares a budget, which is released. The Senate re prepares a budget that's re released. And then there's a whole bunch of negotiations that happen, hopefully by April 1st, when the budget is due, so that New York State can move into its next fiscal year starting on April 1st with, a, with an approved budget. Um, every year, we here at the Catskill Center, as the co-chair of the Catskill Park Coalition, look for um, the Catskill Park to be recognized in the state budget. Something over the years in the past has been um, that the Catskill Park really hasn't received the funding that it deserves um, as a unique park. Um, there are state parks across New York State. Um, they get lots of money to, to be run as state parks. Um, the Catskill Park is unique in that it is a forest preserve park. We have both state land and private lands. Mm. Um, the Department of Environmental Conservation, instead of the Office of Parks, manages the Catskill Park. And that's an agency um, that unfortunately has been understaffed and underfunded for, for many years when it comes to the Catskills. So we, this time of the year, actually starting, starting in the fall, um, we start advocating for... Uh, equitable resources for the Catskill Park. And that includes funding for staffing at DEC to help us uh, manage the park. It includes funding for the Catskills Visitor Center it's to meet and greet visitors that are coming here. Uh, it's money for the Curie Institute um, to run the Catskill Science Collaborative, which coordinates science research across the Catskills. It's for biocontrol uh, lab at Cornell University, where they raise insects that fight off the hemlock woolly adelgid. Uh, mm -hmm. In addition to funding for trail work, funding for improved parking, funding for um, handling uh, high use situations like you see at the Peak Moose Blue Hole or um, at Catterskill Falls. So all of these things kind of get thrown in the pot. We, as the co-chair of the coalition, along with Catskill Mountain Keeper, we organize uh, a group of about 30 different organizations that all support the Catskills. We develop a list of budget priorities for the for the year. And uh, we then do the hard work of, of meeting from uh, with everyone from the governor uh, on down to our local legislators um, here in the Catskills to talk about why the Catskills are important and why they deserve the funding that they do. When I started this about um, nine years ago now, or maybe even a little more than that, I was often asked by legislators where the Catskills were, um, even if they had driven by the Catskills to get to Albany. Uh, thankfully, I don't get asked that question anymore, but uh, we're still out there educating folks about why the Catskills are special and, and why they deserve the funding that they, they should be getting. Well, I'm from Ireland. I knew where the Catskills were um, before <laughs> I come here. So it's... Uh... Yeah, I, I watched too many old films. So um, what what we talked about last time is, as I say, the stewardship, but and and we're talking now about the budget. Now, some money's been released, but we want more. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, so the, the governor did release her budget um, at the end of January, and that budget did include funding for several Catskill priorities, which uh, includes the Visitor Center, that Catskill Science Collaborative that I mentioned, and mm. um, the funding for the Cornell um, University's Biocontrol Lab. Um, it did not include a specific line for the Forest Preserve. Uh, last year, there was $8 million in the state budget for the Catskill and Adirondack uh, Forest Preserve um, for projects, for addressing stewardship, for, for all of those things that cost money uh, in those two parks. The governor uh, didn't include that in her budget. Um, and it was one of our priorities, and we are actively working with our friends in the Senate and the Assembly so that as they prepare their budgets, um, we're very hopeful that that money will show up in those two budgets. And then when it comes time for the the two, you know, the Senate and the Assembly to negotiate with the governor, um, there's a give and take process, but uh, we don't see any reason why that line can't come back. 
Um, but what we need from folks right now is to make sure that they're letting their legislators, whether you're local here in the Catskills or you're from somewhere else in New York, mm. let your legislators know that you value funding the Catskill Park um, so that we can be sure that that $8 million line uh, stays there and so that we know that money is being spent in uh, both the Catskills and the Adirondacks. So we get our pitchforks out now, right? So who do we go to first? <laughs> um, everybody should start, you know, everybody has a local assembly member uh, and everybody has a local state senator. Um, you know, there, there's multiple websites that it makes it very easy. You just type in your zip code. It'll tell you who your local representatives are. Um, you can send an email. That's the easiest way. Um, what I would say is more effective. And this is really for, for anything you want to talk with, with an elected official about. It's either uh, writing a letter um, in the old fashioned way or mm. picking, up, picking up the phone and, and giving their office a call. Um, you know, in terms of this, this ask, it can be as simple as calling. If, you, if you're able to reach someone, just tell them that you support the Catskills and the priorities of the Catskill Park Coalition. Um, if you have to leave a message, just say the same thing. Um, what it comes down to is um, those folks respond to people that they hear from. And so if we let them know that the Catskill Park is valuable, um, they will then work through their processes to ensure that that, that funding appears. Um, you know, the, the last thing that we want is nobody asking, because when mm. you don't ask for something, you, you, you don't get it. Yeah. And that was the challenge of, of the Catskills prior to the, the work that the Catskill Center and the Catskill Park Coalition had been doing was, you know, we simply weren't a squeaky wheel and we weren't in Albany saying that the Catskills deserve funding. Uh, now that we are, we've we've been able uh, over the last decade really to bring tens of millions of dollars to the Catskill Park, um, to Catskill communities. Just last year, like I said, we had that eight million dollar line for for projects. Um, but even before that, we've had we've brought in several million dollars from things as varied as trail work to uh, improvements at the Bel Air Ski Center. So all of those things uh, really flow from the state budget. Uh, we also benefit from having some very dedicated local state senators and state assembly members um, who know our issues and, and who do stand up and fight for the Catskills. But um, that's only because they hear from their constituents and, and from the organizations uh, like us that these are priorities. So uh, right now, the best thing that folks can do is call their, their local, local elected officials, say that they support the Catskill Park and the, and the funding priorities by the Catskill Park Coalition. And this is for anybody of any particular political hue. This is not a bipartisan thing. It is a bipartisan thing, I should say. It's whoever your local representative is. You live here. You come to visit here. Make sure you get funding and make sure even if you, you if you come up here once a year, I mean, it, it's, it's here for you and we have to maintain it and we have to have funding and uh, keep it going the way it is. And just to remind people who are not aware, just remind people what the Catskill Center does exactly up here in the Catskills. Uh, so the Catskill Center, we we were established in 1969, and since and since then, uh, we have really looked uh, both to protect our natural resources and protect our communities. So our our full name is the Catskill Center for Conservation and Development, and so we look to find that line between. Um, sustainable economic growth and sustainable conservation across the Catskills. We believe um, you can't have one without the other. And right. the reason that people want to live here is because of our environment. And so we're here to protect the environment, but we're also here to ensure that the our, our communities remain sustainable and, and viable over the long term um, in, in light of uh, all that happens in the Catskills, whether it's climate change, whether it's, um, you know, uh, flooding, whatever it might be, uh, we want to ensure that our communities um, and our environment both move forward in, in harmony. Yeah, I'm, I'm as guilty as the next man because I've been coming up here for years, but I didn't really wrap around my head what the Caskill Center was, and I just took everything for granted. But now I'm sort of educating myself and I encourage everyone else to do the same and I, I just donate to the center if it's only a couple of bucks. Every buck is needed. As I say, it all goes to benefit us in the end who live and visit up here. So how do people contact you, Jeff, or our, your office specifically? Uh, so the easiest way to find more, find out more about us is to visit us on the web. And that's just catskillcenter.org. Um, they can also stop in at the Catskills Visitor Center in Mount Tremper. 
right. um, that's open uh, Friday through Mondays uh, right now in the winter time, uh, where we have helpful staff on hand uh, to answer really any question. We uh, first and foremost to answer any question about the Catskills, but they are also Catskill Center uh, employees and can direct you to any other questions you might have about work that we do. Um, so we we operate that Catskills Visitor Center. We run an invasive species program here across the Catskills. In the summertime, we have stewards out across the park at high use locations, meeting and greeting visitors. Um, we're a land trust. We have two public preserves, one in the town of Hunter, one in the town of Woodstock. Um, we're a signatory to the agreement that established the New York City Watershed Program. Uh, the list kind of goes on and on. And so we've got a finger, uh, at least a finger in a lot of things, uh, sometimes even a hand or even more. Um, and I, I personally am always happy to talk to folks about what we do um, or and or connect them to the, the right staff members. Or if it's something that we aren't that involved with, Good. we probably have friends in, in other organizations that we know of that we can connect you to. Um, to to make that make that work happen, but as you pointed out, uh, all of this happens because of people who donate and support to the Catskill Center. We're a nonprofit organization. We do work with the state and with New York City on on some level, but the vast majority of our funding is from individuals right. um, who care about the Catskills and and want us to do this good work across the region. Well, great work, and also you're you're a TV star in your own right. Of course, I have to tell people who you are. It's um, it's Jeff from the Hikers Trash Husbands, a program here on Caskills Air with Mo, which is a great a great watch for people interested in the environment, the trails, and what have you up here. So, um, I'm I'm plugging your show as well, Jeff. So you know, helping <laughs> I other, appreciate right? it. We love doing it. You know, it's something that we we are learning along the way as we were we were not uh, people who put together videos or anything, but it's yeah. been fun. It's been fun to learn, and I'm I'm glad that folks, you know, uh, are seeing the trails of the Catskills. And I think now you're you're running some of our videos from from Absolutely. further afield, so you're kind of getting to see us hike and explore all over. And um, you know, we started the videos because we wanted our friends who didn't didn't join with us to see right. what we were seeing. And it's really awesome, you know. So many people get to see it now. So well, I can hike vicariously through you now. So I'm not, I'm not the world's best hiker, but I live vicariously through you, Jeff. So it's uh, it's much appreciated. And people, if you can help out the Castle Center, please send a couple of bucks. Um, get in touch with them through the website. Find out where to point your pitchforks and get that squeaky wheel into the legislator and. Um, make it happen. Jeff, thank you so much and the best of luck and have a great season and we'll touch back with you later on in the spring or maybe early summer to find out what you've been up to. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you.